How to Stay Out of Hell Matthew 7 verse 13 to 14 Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Many people want to know which path they are on. If you are confused about the direction you are on in this life, the path of hell or the path of heaven, you need to examine the way you live to know if you are doing the things of God. The truth is, the way you live your life is a great indication of what path you are on. I will quickly summarize some of the things you can identify in your life to know that you are not on the path to heaven, but on the road to hell. The first thing is, if you are not born again. The second is, if you are not doing what God commands. These two things are broad ways to hell. This message is for everyone. I am not excluded from this message. We all need to be cautious of the steps we take. We must make sure that we are indeed not on the path of hell, the path of destruction. We should never be guessing if we are going in the right direction, but we should be absolutely certain of which way to go because of the compass we have been provided with, which is known as the Bible. All of us must know how to stay out of hell. Not all roads lead to heaven. Proverbs 14 verse 12 There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. At this stage we should know what way we are headed. Proverbs 15 verse 24 says, The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. This verse says that the righteous will take the road that leads upwards to God and leave the road that leads to hell beneath. The Bible says only the wise can take this road. For a better understanding, we need to know who the wise are. The wise are those who acknowledge that there is a God. The Bible explicitly tells us that the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. The wise are those who fear God and depart from evil. People who fear God know that God has the power to destroy the soul. Matthew 10 verse 28 And do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Taking the way of life is the only way to stay out of hell. What is the way of life? The way of life is the way of wisdom and holiness. Everyone who wants to journey on this path must take wisdom seriously. Wisdom means knowing that you must shun up evil and follow Christ. Wisdom is to know that there is no other way outside of Christ. Holiness must be your watchword. You cannot say you want to be on the path of life and live an intentionally sinful life. A life where you endorse sin. A life where you celebrate sin. The Bible made it clear that you cannot journey upward to God without holiness. Holiness is vital in this Christian life. James 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Asking God for wisdom means asking him to teach you his ways. Psalm 32 verse 8 
I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. When God says he will teach you which way to go, he is saying he will teach you the way of life. He says that he will give you the wisdom that will help you diligently take this path. God says he will teach you the way to go. And that is all you need. Don't hesitate to ask God if you lack the wisdom required because he gives it generously. God will also teach you how to walk in holiness. The reason you can't achieve perfect holiness by yourself is because you need God. Hebrews 12 verse 14 says, Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. The way that leads upward to God is the way of holiness. You cannot see God without holiness. The Bible says the way of life is above the wise. It tells you that wise people will seek life from above. James 1 verse 17 says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. One of these good gifts is life. Only God can give you that, and if you are wise, what you will seek is eternal life. The smartest thing to do is seek life. And how do you do this? Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek God first. If you want life, or you want to get out of that path of destruction, you need to seek the kingdom of God first. The way of life is also the way of faith and serious godliness. It is not possible to walk in the path of life without godliness and faith in your life. A godly life cannot be negotiated when it comes to walking in the way of life. To ensure you are walking on the path of life, you must make sure that you are living a godly life. You must be holy in your words. You must be holy in your actions. Godliness must be your priority as one who wants to walk in the path of life. 1 Timothy 4 verse 8 For bodily exercise profiteth little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. The Bible says that godliness will benefit you here on earth. Walking in the ways of God is godliness. It doesn't matter what the world is choosing above godliness, and it doesn't matter what people call you when you choose godliness. Never stop going on the path of godliness. Faith, on the other hand, is trusting God. Faith means to believe in God regardless of the condition you find yourself in. Some people only believe in God when things are going well for them and forget God when things are going wrong. Some also forget God when things are going well for them and remember God when things become bad for them. That is unfaithfulness, and that means you don't trust God. Without faith you cannot please God. You must trust God. Whatever God says you should do, do it, because you trust God. When you obey God only when it favors you, you will not obey him when it seems not to favor you. Trust God in everything. You can lead yourself on the path of righteousness. Trust God alone.
That is what the way of life entails. The way of life is a life of complete and utter trust. 2 Peter 1 verse 5 to 8 And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. In your lifestyle, you must be godly. In your words, you must be godly. People must see the nature of Christ in your life. To know if you are on the path or not, you must take a critical look at your life. Don't deceive yourself. As humans, we have an ability to sometimes deceive ourselves. But I encourage you not to deceive yourself. The Bible says, God cannot be mocked. Galatians 6 verse 7 to 8 says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. It is what you sow that you will get. You cannot deceive God. Don't deceive yourself. Look into your life now and check if you are on the right path. If you are not living a holy life, you are not on the way of life. If you are full of deceit and sexual immorality, you are not on the way of life. If godliness is not a priority in your life, you are not on the way of life. You must readjust and follow the right path. Don't let anyone or anything deceive you. There is no other way out of hell except the way of life. If you cannot pursue holiness, godliness, faith, and wisdom of God, forget about the way of life. The most important thing to know about the way of life is that Jesus Christ is the way. John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It is not possible to get on the path of life without Jesus, because he is the way. You must accept and believe in Jesus to follow this way. You must believe that he is the giver of life. You must believe that only through him can you get the wisdom of God. You must believe that only through him you can achieve true holiness. You cannot become holy by yourself. This world will not give you that chance. You need the grace of God that comes through Jesus. Jesus is the only one who can take you in the way of life. You must believe in him. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life.